Hello, hello, hello. How are you? It is Rob and John of Rosenhouse. I am so happy to see you. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. All right. So you did not read the title of today's live wrong. We are working on clearing the pain from gratitude. I know it sounds a little weird, but that's okay. Let me just get the rest of my stuff going here and we will get started. For those of you who don't know me, as I said, I am Robin Jonah Rosenhaus and I help high performing established women entrepreneurs reframe their reality so that they can manifest their greatest gifts and dealing with the pain from gratitude is absolutely one of those things so before i get into what that is let's all please take a second and enjoy my shirt sarcastic since birth who can relate <laughs> All right, we're going to raise your energy, raise your level of consciousness to the most appropriate level that will allow you to receive the teachings today and the clearings at uh, in the best way for you. Good morning or good afternoon, Fiona, or good evening, or I don't know what it is where you are right now. I don't know what it is where I am. So let's get this cleared or up, 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 raise this one second. I'm stopping so that this does its thing. All right, perfect. And just a quick reminder, anybody who's new, I used the pendulum as a diagnostic tool. Uh, it does not do the energy clearing. That's all the work between me and source. This just lets me know when we're done and we can move on to the next thing. Uh, it's morning over there. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, so clearing the pain of gratitude. Funny subject, right? Uh, how are we going to talk about this? So basically, what this relates to are all those times, like, and, and I'm just going to start the clearing while I'm talking about it, okay? Because stuff is going to come up. You're going to have memories. So what I'm talking about are all those times, like, as a kid, right, where you really, really wanted something, and for some reason, you, you couldn't have it, right? And you know, you, you got that whole speech of you should be grateful for what you have. Not everybody has things like that. Not everybody is as lucky as you are. Um, you know, we don't have a lot, but you should be grateful that you have family, you have a roof over your head, you know, all of these different things like where, where gratitude and guilt were put together, causing us to feel like we were asking too much, that we didn't appreciate what we had, right? That's a, a big thing, really big thing. And then also, like even nowadays, and, and I really work so hard to make sure that my teachings don't give off what I'm going to talk about, but I know it still happens, right? And so, like, even nowadays, like, as adults, right, when things are really crappy and they really go wrong and, you know, and what do we all say? Tap into the gratitude, tap, you know, be grateful. And sometimes it's like you just can't get there, nor do you want to right? Those times happen. And so when what happens? It's like, oh, I'm on this spiritual path. Oh, I'm, you know, on this path of personal development. Oh, all these people keep telling me that I should be thankful and I'm not right now. And that makes me feel like I'm wrong and there's something wrong with me. And so again, all this pain gets attached to gratitude. And it's such a shame because it gets a bad rap 
gratitude, when you can truly connect with gratitude, gratitude is literally healing for your brain. It literally de-ages your brain, right? But if you are going to go into, if you're going to feel grateful because you feel obligated, which is the other word, the, the other thing that got gets attached to gratitude is obligation, right? It just makes things really, really mixed up, confusing, and it truly makes it difficult to be fully grat gracious, feel really gracious, feel be in gratitude, also without feeling indebted to somebody. You know, the indebtedness that comes in there also adds pain. And all of this pain gets attached to gratitude. So this is what we're clearing, you know. And and it's it's just so funny. If you think back to the different times in your lives, like where it's like, you know, again, oh, you got a birthday gift, right? You get a gift and and you don't really like it, you know. And then your mother turns around and says, oh, yeah, you should totally be, you know, thankful for that because they cared enough about you to get you the gift. They spent, uh, I yeah, you hate the feeling of owing somebody something, yeah. <laughs> but that's like all in your head, owing people stuff, right? But but it all, it gets it gets all tied into this gratitude stuff. So so just like, again, that guilt, oh, you know, but mom, I really don't like this shirt, you know, it, it's it's not my thing. Well, you should be thankful for it anyway, because they thought about you. They took the time to go out and buy this gift and, and wrap it up and give it to you. And they spent their money on it for you. Money that they don't have anymore now because they spent it on this gift for you. And you don't like it? Really? You should be grateful. So I'm here to tell you that you can be grateful for the thought and the time and the effort that someone puts in to helping you out or giving you a gift, right? You can be grateful for that and still not like the gift. Not liking the gift has nothing to do with gratitude, right? Because you are, you know, even if you don't like your Aunt Ethel, and even if you know that she bought you the gift out of obligation, she still took that time to take care of it and do it. You can be grateful for that and still not like Aunt Ethel and still not like the gift. It does not devalue the depth of your gratefulness your, and your appreciation. Okay, and that, that is the true payback for people. Like we sit there and, and it's like we feel like, oh, they got me a gift, so I should give them a gift and blah, blah, blah. Society does tell you that, right? Society tells you that. But I'm sorry, if you're hanging out with me, you're somebody who paves your own way and you get to write the rules that fit your life and you can show somebody appreciation without buying them something in return to show your gratitude and to show your graciousness you know and to show your appreciation rather like does that make sense i see comments coming through uh -uh. so Oh, yes, the starving children in Africa, you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, and and if you are anything like me, wait a minute, this is just getting finished. All right, so I'm going to finish that sentence. What I want to tell you is what is happening is we are, um, the energy is transforming into the most appropriate energy to allow you to feel gratitude without pain, without obligation, uh, without um, without judgment, without feeling like you have to pay people back. 
And also it's connecting you with the energies that you require that will allow you to show your appreciation in the way that is right for you and the most meaningful for you and who you are showing the gratitude to. Okay, so back to the starving children in Africa. Oh my God. Mine were in China. When I was a kid, the, they were starving children in China. And, you know, I, I, it, it was such a mixed message. Let's think about this for a minute. It's such a mixed message because it's like you're not finishing your food or your, your um, for me, it was always food. Okay. So, you know, it's like, Robin, you're, you're not finishing your meal. Look at all that. You're throwing it away. You're wasting it. They're starving children in China. And so me, I, you know, as a kid, I, you know, I used to hand my mother the plate and I'm like, well, how can we give this to them? Right? Because I felt bad and I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to help them. And I would get in trouble for giving my mother sass, right? It's like, you know, I, 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 don't, I can't even pull up the words right now, what she used to say to me, but it was, oh, oh, don't be smart with me which is just a whole other thing with how that showed up in school. But um, yeah, don't, don't be smart with me. And it was like, I didn't understand. I truly, there were starving kids. I felt bad for them. How I, this was how I knew how to help them. You know, as a little kid, but all of this gets tied together. You don't appreciate what you have, you know? Oh my gosh. And, you know, this gets instilled at an age when we do not yet have filters. Our brains have not yet formed filters from birth. No, not even from birth. It's, um, it's uh, I, I always want to say in vitro and it's not in vitro. It's like while you're still in the womb, right, <laughs> up until age seven, we have not yet physically formed the neural connections. They have not matured enough yet to allow us to filter the information that's coming through. So everything that comes through is like accepted as gospel, right? That's it. This is the truth. And so much of it you know, uh, conflicted with each other. And it shows up now because you know, you know the value of gratitude. You know how when you can sit there and start your day and just take a minute to truly be grateful for something, anything. You know, I'm, I'm looking at Roxy laying on the couch over there and she's all in her little fluffy spot and all cuddly and looking cute and you know and i can just look at her at any time of the day and truly be grateful for the experience of having her right and i do the same thing with angel and i'm able to connect into that when i'm feeling really really crappy but it took work it took a lot a lot of work because it doesn't feel like enough it didn't, I should say, feel like enough because of all this cruddy, crappy programming. So what I want you to do is when you are feeling obligated to do something in return, work on it so that rather than doing something in return out of obligation, you're doing it out of choice. Right. And the choice might simply be. This is the less painful solution for me right now. I'm not at the point yet where I can turn around and just say thank you and provide a heartfelt thank you and let that be enough. I'm still at the point where I need to do something in return. So I'm just going to honor that and I'm going to acknowledge it and rather than fight it. I'm going to be okay with it. 
Because what that does, if the first thing it does is it starts unhooking you from that uh, resistance pattern, right? And when you're not in the resistance pattern, things move so much like more fluidly, right? Eventually, you'll start training yourself to change, first of all, your attitude towards how, you, you know, what you're doing in return, how you're, how you're giving, and slowly you will start to feel the confidence in yourself to start saying, oh, thank you so much, you know, it, it me even if you don't like the gift, right, it means a lot that you thought about me, it means a lot to me that you took the time to do this for me, I really, really appreciate it, right, that's all it is, that's all you need to do, like, if you turn around and you acknowledge somebody's time and effort, they are going to feel that. They're going to feel seen. I know that you have a busy, busy life with your kids and your business and your husband and your dogs and everything else. And just the fact that you stopped and took some time out and did this for me means so much to me. Thank you. They will feel seen. And that is a bigger gift than doing giving something out of obligation that will continue to remove the pain and also trauma so we're going to remove that too we're going to just neutralize that really quick and then and then i'm going to hang up with you guys um but yeah i mean like trauma gets gets connected with the if you really think about it with the gratitude with the situations that occurred where uh, you have to feel gratitude, right? And even again, like like now, like you can have a trauma occur and you'll hear some of these new agey coaches going, where's the gratitude? Find the gratitude. What's the gratitude? Yeah. And, and, they're, and, and, and they'll say, look for the gratitude or, you know, and if you're like me, I will tell you to look for the gold. I will tell you to find the snippet of gold. But... You want to do it all in such a way that you are acknowledging your feelings. You are acknowledging, acknowledging what's going on for you right now, that you feel shitty. You're acknowledging that. Nobody is saying don't. You need to do that. You need to acknowledge how you feel because if you don't allow yourself to be visible to you, how are you going to be visible to anybody else? So acknowledge how you feel. This sucks. I don't like it. You know, and then find the little snippet. Find the tiniest thread of the silver lining. And I will tell you why. It is not to be Pollyanna perfect positivity, right? It is so that you can help calm your central nervous system a little bit. It's so that you can keep your cortisol levels from going through the roof. It's so that you can keep your negative emotions and feelings, and by negative, I'm just saying shitty feeling, right? Negative uh, 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 emotions. You keep them from being the driver of your life. And you can make your choices from preference, from the combination of, of heart and logic so that you can not react, mindlessly, blindly react. Because that never, never, never supports you, right? So that's all we're doing. And when you can also think about gratitude in that, in those terms, I'm connecting with the energy of gratitude as a way of calming down my central nervous system, not going into fight or flight, 
keeping the adrenaline low, keeping the cortisol low, helping me keep my head about myself, it makes it so much easier to connect with, especially in times of trouble. And you won't have that the pain and the negative impact that got connected and entangled and twisted up with gratitude, starting from when you were a child, because, you know, you were supposed to have good manners, right? Good manners. And because you're supposed to be grateful for everything, you know, and, and, and because you were taught that, that you can't be grateful for the effort if you don't like what the effort was or the gift, right? And that's just such bullshit, especially if you look at who you are right now. You know, I mean, truly, the thought that counts, right? Uh, it got thrown around. Oh, it's the thought that counts. But it is the thought that counts. And the problem is the way gratitude is taught, we're not able to really accept that and own that and and allow that to be enough. So with that, guys. I'm going to head out of here because I've been talking to you well over 20 minutes already. Um, I do want to let you know that Friday the 22nd, we are doing this month's road opener. And gratitude, not necessarily gratitude, but we're doing, we are clearing like the family obligation stuff and all these family beliefs and uh, traditions that were passed down to us that keep us from having the financial freedom that we desire. So I would love for you to go check that out. It's over on my website, robinjrosenhouse.com. Work with me, road opener. And you will see the time, the date. Replay is available if you can't make it live. No worries. And that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with me. I truly, truly, truly am grateful for you. I am grateful that you take the time to stop and sit with me, even if it's just for 30 seconds during these lives. It does mean a lot to me because I do know that you are busy. And I do know that if you're spending your time here with me, then you're not spending your time doing something else. And that does mean so, so much to me. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I say that to you with an open heart without any pain attached. So I will see you here next week, right? Yeah, next week. We will be here Wednesday, day before Thanksgiving over here in the United States. Oh, really quick. I almost forgot. Let me just get you guys aligned with your natural frequency. The natural frequency is the frequency where all the things that you desire uh, live <laughs> so that you are all aligned with it. You don't have to align specifically with money, specifically with love. You don't have to. If you desire it, it is on your frequency. It is on your spectrum. We are just aligning you. So you are facing the edge of more love, more money, more good stuff, instead of aligning with more of less. So, all right, everybody, I will talk to you later. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you on Friday. Bye-bye.